This porcini mushroom gravy is so robust, meaty, and delicious that it makes pretty much everything you put it on better. It's also a great option if you're having both vegetarians and meat eaters over for Thanksgiving and you only want to make one batch of gravy. It can be made ahead, it freezes well, and is super flavorful. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie. This is No Frills Kitchen where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. Okay, we'll go ahead and prep the limited ingredients I call for in the recipe. So finally, dice a shallot and then go ahead and chop some fresh sage and thyme. I find it easiest to stack the sage leaves on top of each other and then roll them into a bit of a log before finally chopping them. Finally, weigh out some dried porcini mushrooms into a heat-proof container. Now onto the gravy. Add some veggie stock to a saucepan and bring it up to a simmer. Once it's simmering, pour it over the porcini mushrooms, ensuring that they're completely submerged. Cover it, I simply place an inverted plate on top and let the mushrooms sit and rehydrate for about 10 to 15 minutes. While they're soaking, dry out the same saucepan and place a few tablespoons of olive oil into it. Set it over medium heat, and once shimmering, add your shallot and a generous pinch of salt. Cook the shallot until they're softened and translucent, only about two to three minutes. Then add your chopped sage and thyme and cook just until fragrant. This is only about 30 seconds or less. Sprinkle over a bit of flour. Cook this, stirring constantly until the flour takes on a nutty aroma and begins to toast a bit about two to three minutes. Then deglaze it with a bit of dry white wine. Stir it into the flour mixture and cook just until the strong alcoholic smell has cooked off. Then pour in the mushroom soaking liquid and a bit of soy sauce. Add the porcinis and bring everything up to a gentle simmer. Let the gravy simmer away for about five to 10 minutes, just until it's deeply flavorful and thickened. Once you've reached this stage, set a fine mesh sieve over a heat-proof bowl and pour the gravy through the sieve. I'm just using the same jug I soaked the mushrooms in. I was a little enthusiastic when pouring in this gravy, so make sure to go slowly so as not to spill anything. Discard the solids and then stir in a splash of sherry vinegar for a bit of added acidity. Go ahead and taste the gravy to adjust for seasoning, adding a little bit more salt or pepper if you think it's necessary. And if you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!